Hello examiner, my name is Dr. Zafar, my GMC number is 12345. Can you proceed? Thank you so much. As you may have been on your answer precaution measures. Hello Michael. Hello doctor. I am Dr. Zafar, one of the junior doctors working here. Can you please confirm your full name age for me? Doctor, my name is Michael Brown and I am 40 years old. Michael, I can see that you are struggling to breathe. Can you please tell me what happened? Doctor, I had a surgery in the morning. Later on, the nurse attached this blood bag to me and I started experiencing this breathing difficulty then. I am so sorry Michael, don't worry, I am here to help you. Uh, just let me assess you, just let me ask you more questions. So, can you please tell me, have you been diagnosed with any medical condition? No doctor. Are you taking any medications? No doctor. Are you allergic to any medicine? No doctor. Has it ever happened before? No doctor. Okay, Alright, uh, as my patient is telling me to breathe, I would like to put my patient in semi sitting position. Michael, I am going to assess you now. I will be looking, touching, tapping and listening to different parts of your body. I will be addressing you as well and never medical team will be with me to ensure your privacy and dignity. Can I proceed? Yes, doctor. Alright. Uh, first, let me check if you are attached to the monitor or not. I can see that the patient is attached to the monitor and his level of oxygen in blood is low. Michael, level of oxygen in your blood is low. I am going to quickly start the ABCD approach. Alright, doctor. As the patient is talking to me, I am not worried about his airway. Just let me look inside his mouth. I can see that his lip swelling, tongue swelling as well. Uh, so I am suspecting the uh, anaphylaxis reaction because of blood. Because after uh, touching blood it started. I would like to stop everything attached to my patient. And I would also like to see if there is catheter inserted. Alright. No catheter inserted. Okay Michael, I am suspecting that you have allergic reaction because of the blood. Right, so I am uh, going to give you a denial in 0 0.5 mil, 1 into the thousand titration into your thigh. Okay, if you feel a sharp scratch, I would also like to give my patient oxygen 100% 15 liter per minute. So, no need to mask. Michael, can you please lift your head for me? Yes, doctor. If you feel fresh pressure, it will help you with breathing. Okay, Michael, now I am going to uh, examine your chest. I am going to address. I am going to look at his chest. I can see the respiratory rate is bit on higher side. I am going to feel the pressure of the trachea. It's central. White. I am going to check the chest. Some. Okay. Michael, please take deeper in the breaths. Alright, I am going to tap. Alright, Michael, I am going to listen to your chest. Michael, I can hear some whistling sound in your chest. I would like to give you cyberdamol 5 mg through a laser mask. Alright. I am going to change your mask. Please lift your head. Alright. It will help you breathing. I would also like for that portable chest x and ABGs as well. But Michael, I am going to pinch your finger. I can see, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, I am going to shift, check your pulse. Pulse is a bit on higher side, it's regular. I would like to check your blood uh, pressure as well. I can see that my patient blood uh, pressure is on lower side. Right, Michael, I am going to listen to your heart. Alright, so I would also like to order the primary ECG. Michael, I am going to insert two large bloody cannulas as you keep it on lower side. Alright, I am going to take some bloods to, uh, for basic investigations like CBC. Inflammatory markers, infection markers, and especially tryptase levels as well. And I'm going to start doing some fillers. All right, 500 ml, normal slime, and I will be reassessing you as well. And might be need to give two liter in one hour. All right, Michael. Now I'm going to check your temperature. Temperature is fine. Michael, I'm going to check your blood sugar levels. You 
it's normal. I'm also going to shine light with your eyes. Alright, it's relaxed. It. Michael, can you please uh, move your right leg for me? Yes, doctor. Your left leg for me? Yes, doctor. Okay, my patient is alert and active on AUP scale. Michael, how are you feeling? Doctor, I'm feeling a bit better. Okay, I can see that my patient's saturation is normal, it's improving now. Okay, alright Michael, and just let me uh, do my assessment, I'm going to look at your tummy. Everything is normal, I'm going to touch. Alright. I'm going to look at your private area. Alright. I will look at your leg. Michael, I can see that there is rash in your leg, so I would like to give Lorfiniramine 10 mg IV. It might be cause of the allergic reaction you have to the blood. How are you feeling, Michael? Doctor, I'm feeling good now. Michael, I'm glad you're feeling better. I can see that your vitals are also improving as well. Alright, so Michael, now I'm going to explain what actually happened. So, you had surgery at the nurse guy to the, you to the blood, and after that, you had this breathing problem. So, I'm suspecting that you have allergic reaction because of the blood. So, on my initial assessment, your situation was on the lower side. So, I I saw everything attached to you and I have given you some medication inherent to your thigh and I have also given you some medication through the mask, given you oxygen as well and some medication through your veins because it was rash on your body. Alright, and after initial treatment I am glad you are feeling better. Now my recommendation is to keep you here, alright, and we will be keep monitoring you and I will also like to full, uh, fill a incident form and we will investigate why it has happened. Alright, is there any kind of mistake from our side? Please accept my apologies. We need to investigate it, what actually happened. Alright? Alright, doctor. So, my Michael, when you will be stable and able to go home, we will be also referring you to the, the allergy clinic as well. Alright? Alright. Is doctor. there anything you want to ask? No, doctor. Okay, alright, Michael, thank you. And when you will be at the allergy uh, uh, clinic, if you are uh, having diagnosed, confirmed with anaphylaxis, they might be giving you some bracelet as well to wear. So, uh, if you ever visit hospital, they know that you are. Having anaphylaxis. Alright? Alright, doctor. Okay, so I have managed the patient of anaphylaxis who had a because of blood. And his saturation was on the lower side, nurse had attached him, uh, him on blood. So I have stopped everything. I have given adrenaline, chlorophenamine because of the rash. Alright? And now my recommendation is to keep him here and keep monitoring. And I also ordered the triplets levels and the seed form as well. Thank you so much.